Hi, Richard Wallace, Clearwater, Florida, back of Bradford Plaza, and uh, I've been homeless for about two years now, and I, uh, the state did it to me. They took 60% of my Social Security income for back child support, so basically I'm destined to be homeless. So. How much do you get from Social Security? I was getting 914, now I get $378. How long you gotta pay back child support? It's probably forever, I'm 65, you know, I don't know, actually. So have you talked to your baby mama that's getting it to try to work something out or you just? I don't think she even, I really don't think that she pursued it, the state did. So I, I really don't know. I haven't seen my daughter, my daughter's 15 now, and I uh, had her when I was 50. Okay, right and uh, so she she just left, you know. What's your daughter's name? Cecilia. If you could say something to Cecilia right now, just in case she receives this video on YouTube, what would you say to your daughter, Cecilia? Hi, Cecilia. I don't know why you said when you was three years old that you hated me. I know where that come from. Mama. So, so you think the mom kind of... Oh, absolutely, Maybe yeah. So your daughter doesn't like you? Yep. And I haven't seen them since, and they just live in Seminole. What's your, what's the, Cecilia's mother's name? Stephanie Weber. What would you say to her if she sees the video, like, would you want to ask her to please give you part of your money, you know, let you, like, do something to get more of your Social Security or something? Well, yeah, I'd just say, hey, can we get this uh, adjudication or whatever they call it to where I can live, too, you know? Because basically, $378 a month, they kicked me out of my assisted living twice. And I have, I have long-term care, which is $1,500 a month. But they wanted $900 plus that to live there. And so you get $1,500 a month on top of your $300? No, that's from Medicare, Medicaid. I mean, they'll pay it if you go to long-term care. Well, I have long-term care. You know, if I was to go to, like, a hospital or something like that, you know, or... Uh, When's the last time you went to a hospital to seek care? Oh, uh, I got out last Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, I was in... I was on the street. I got distraught. And I called and had myself Baker acted. So... Where'd you go for the Baker Act? Went to uh, Largo Med on Indian Rocks Road in Largo. Okay, I'm familiar with it. What was it like in there being Bayer at Baker Acted? What kind of facilities? What kind of food? What kind of people did you meet? <laughs> it was great. I mean, the staff was great. The uh, food was great. You had all you wanted to eat. And, you know, it was just they took care of everybody. And you'd see the psychiatrist every morning, every day. So they, you know, they ask you. Do you remember you, the name of your psychiatrist there? Dr. Butler. Did you like him? Yeah. Well, I've seen him like 30 years ago, and uh, I didn't care for him too much then, but he's uh, gotten to be a nice guy, yes. Very good. Shoot. Um, well, there are several of them there, but, you know, they just ask you a. Uh, how often do you do that? How often do you go to a hospital and get Baker acted? And is it just for shelter and food? Or do you really feel like you need medical help sometimes? Well, I need medical help. Um, depression, anxiety. and What you kind know, of drugs do you like to do? I don't do anything. I just drink. I don't do, I don't smoke or, you know. I smoked pot back in the 70s. When's the last time you were arrested? I've never been arrested. Never a homeless guy that's never been arrested? Yep. Well, that's pretty impressive. That's what Largo police said. Uh, you're a virgin. I mean, and I go, yeah. And they go, well, we'll see if we can fix that. It's the way they are. And they I said, said that to you? Yes. Were they just joking or were they being mean? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you know, but I didn't want to take any chances. Right. Yeah. Yeah, they were. All right, we appreciate it. We're going to come back, and we're going to ask this gentleman about uh, having sex while being homeless. Stay tuned.